All right, <clears throat> I've had some requests for a new video showing how to make a custom ringtone for your iPhone in the new iTunes operating environment. So um, <clears throat> it's going to be the same as before. You're going to want to have a folder created, so some place where you can put your ringtones already started. I have one here called Ringtones, and this is where we're going to place our custom ringtones in just a minute. <clears throat> Back to iTunes. So. You want to um, observe how everything's a little different here. Um, the way to get to your ringtones is up here is a little different. You go to tones, and uh, you have to have uh, the preference enabled under the iTunes preferences down here. It should be under tones. Yep, mine right here is checked. If yours isn't checked, have that checked. Then pick your song and then determine what 30 second portion you want to use as your ringtone because anything longer than 30 seconds will not be a ringtone anymore it'll go to voicemail so uh, you don't want to waste space on your phone so after you determine the 30 seconds you want uh, go to your song I'm doing holiday rap because it's Christmas day so it seems fitting Then you go to get info and you go to info after going getting info or sorry under options and my playback, I believe is at 49 seconds, but not so important. So you can only do 30, or you only want to do 30 seconds. So let's just add 30 seconds here. And that should be good. And you click OK. And then you're going to want to go to create AAC version after you've done that. And the AAC version is just the version that your iTunes prefers the file type to be. So now I have my 30 second version here. See that's 30 seconds. One thing I didn't show in the previous videos, you want to go back to your original one and um, erase all this because if you try to play your song again, it'll start there and that's all you'll hear. So some people will get confused later if they're trying to play the file to listen to. So here's our 30 second clip. We're going to right click, go to show in folder or Windows Explorer. And here you can notice it has the file extension of M4A. Um, you have to change that to M4R because that's a, the file extension type for ringtones. If you don't have your extensions showed, you have to Google how to show file extensions in whichever operating system you're using. So once I click, well, I push enter or whatever, and it'll change and it'll ask me, is that what you want to do? And I say yes because that's I'm doing it on purpose and it's not an accident. Uh, sometimes if you change the extension of other files, they become unusable, but not in this case because I'm doing it on purpose. So we're going to say yes, and then now we have that, and I'm going to uh, bring this down so you can see my ringtones folder, and I'm going to drag it right over here. Now this is important because this is where I have told iTunes to look. So you want to have a ringtones folder already pre-made or whatever you, you can name it whatever you want, put it wherever you want, just remember where it's at. Because we're going to go back, we're going to file, uh, first let's, let's actually change it to tones so we can see the ones I have. Then we're going to go to file, add file to library, we're going to go to tones, and it's already there, holiday wrap is what I made. I've got a bunch of other ones in there, and here it is, and I'll play it for you. It's a little silly, but it works. Then you just sync your phone. You can use it for whatever you want. Enjoy.